of my way when I'm blasting my gun. gun. Got 99 bullets, but it only takes one. Got a home 45, a razor sharp machete. Like Hoka no try the fucking world ain't ready. Get out of my way when I'm blasting my gun. Yo, dudes. Today, we're gonna try and relive the old E34. Got this a uh, couple of weeks ago, just to show you guys uh, how to do up an E34, just so that we have a variety, you know? We don't want to be boring fuckers. So just for you, this one. Uh, right, when, when you take a car out of storage, uh, well, not 99%, but 100% of the time, the battery is gonna be dead if it's been connected to the vehicle. So obviously, uh, you have to change the battery. So we've got a new battery and we're gonna pray to God that it starts. Now, if you've got BMW, uh, don't start looking in the front for your batteries because it ain't there, mate. <laughs> now, the batteries in, in the uh, later models are uh, either in the boot or uh, in the uh, earlier models, uh, probably gonna be under your seat. Uh, now, it's a little bit weird that this battery actually looks bigger than the one that we have, uh, but we're gonna give it a try now. Well, I've put the battery in, so uh, don't be shocked, guys. So have a look at the uh, battery that BMW used to make. BMW don't make batteries anymore, but look, massive, yeah? We just got this one from Euro Car Parts, and it looks half the size. Uh, so uh, don't, don't be alarmed. Uh, maybe it's just, uh, maybe size does not matter after all. Well, we shall see, we shall find out now. So three years in storage, put the battery in. Let's have a go. Running sweet, guys. Doesn't sound like it's misfiring or anything. Have a look. Here's the engine warming up. When I'm blasting my gun Got 99 bullets but it only takes one what? Murder in the first Premeditated Like open us trying to fucking hate us Of course man Detention like a terrorist With nuclear weapons It's still billion dollar bill And you're a useless investment Behind every great fortune Is a shooter's confession If only the Lord knows Don't continue to bless them Wet them A holy water stolen So we did all the matters Some orders from Odessa From street corners to boroughs It's the extra special To these bitches My dick is existential Portals are Not bad for the money, bro. <laughs> exciting to get a parcel through the door especially when it's car parts in it juke yeah mate that's right give me some of that before you open up a parcel uh you need to um embrace the jar so 
Now you're ready to open up the parcel. Let's have a look at that. Because they keep sending us cork extenders. Because um, whenever you put, put them up on Facebook, they're like, Oh, you got that to make your cock bigger? <laughs> <laughs> no, motherfucker. My cock is big anyway. I had to extend it all my youth. Oh, it does look like a cock extender. Look at that. What is that, mate? Damn. Well, no, my one's already bigger than that, mate. Let's have a look what else. Oh, damn. It's gonna end up this size, I think, when we're done with this. Ooh. Oh my god. That is a big coconito extendito, baby. Damn. That's not bad. That's a fucking double dick action right there, baby. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. <laughs> yeah. That is not bad purchase for 50 pound fostered. Ooh. What did it fit for? Is it for for an E34, baby. Ooh, nice. Nice and uh, mm -hmm. uh, what are they called? Pause. So it makes nice roaring sound. So that's to go on my mom's car, basically. So she can do some pimping as well, because I'm tired <laughs> of all that pimping by myself. <laughs> so you're going to get your mom on the duty. Do some pimping for you too. So keep watching and we'll show you how to stick that on next week. Good. I swear hip hop got me looking at the front door. I used to love her, now I wanna smother when I see all the bastard styles that she's mothered. Fuck the Dalai Lama, it's the drama starter. I'll blow the spot like an Al Oxamata. Better lock up your guns, hide away your daughter. Keep the Irish boy away from the fire water. Cause the fire water, no, the Irish man pain. It's the samurai druid from the island plain. Like William. Alright, guys, here's the uh, E34. Sides this side was so we've got these uh, deep scuffs in there, so we need to roughen it up with like uh, 40 grade Here yeah, do a bit on there Duke See what it does So the main thing is to get it flat and then we're gonna concentrate on smoothing it out so yeah, don't, maybe don't do, don't roughen up this bit anymore. Just concentrate on getting this line out now. Good, mate. Yo, guys, what Master Duke is doing now is sanding down the trims with uh, P40. Now, oh, well, he did P40. Uh, seems a bit extreme, but... We needed to get all the deep scuffs out, and that's the only way. I think you might need to do 80 first, man. Otherwise, it will take 80. Yeah, try yeah, so and do 80. So at least we can see that uh, there are no significant scuffs there, except uh, here, and we're going to try and fill them uh, using some super glue. Yeah, yeah try, uh, try with 80 first. See what happens. Is that 80, definitely? Yeah, that's 80 that you got. Okay. Yeah, yeah, about 80, yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's better, man. It's taking out all the little hairs, and then, and then you send it down with, um, yeah. Right, so this is what we've done with the um, uh, 40 grade, and this is with 80, so you can see it's slowly smoothing out, then uh, work your way downwards, and then uh, use some high build primer, and it should look kushti. Right, when you've uh, roughed it all up and taken out as many stuffs as you can, uh, smooth it down on P1000 and then we're going to use some uh, high build primer on it and we're also going to try and cover these uh, stuff with some uh, super glue gel right so we've started off with P40 here then P80 then P180 and then P1000 uh, just to smooth it out and this I mean, it almost looks like hemp
<laughs> almost looks like a big joint. On you like I'm Henry Rollins. Get out of my way when I'm blasting my gun. Got 99 bullets, but it only... I don't think it's hem bumpers in 1995. I don't think they used hem. He's doing the robot for bundles of dope. I heard they don't want to call it Hell's Kitchen no more. I swear hip hop got me looking at the front door. I used to love her. Now I want to smother when I see all the bastard styles that she's mothered. Fuck the Dalai Lama, it's the drama starter. I'll blow the spot like an L. Upset at you if you do certain things. It's uh, tobacco and marijuana. I'm also got the hairy frog. Yo, what, what? You can not hop on my car. Feeling cool, riding with stars. Yo, what, what? I keep a block like a car. Hey, yo, she get the top in the drop. Yo. kind of leaves all these hairs out uh, so I got some um, plastic primer where is it <clears throat> some of this stuff another sand down with P1000 and then uh, maybe primer again let's just start painting anyway it's a bit of an experiment this one um, so before you do that before you start painting, always clean it. I use a degreaser. Get all the grease and shit off of it, so your primer sticks to it nicely. So we're gonna prime it. So we're gonna prime it. See what happens. Maybe give it. Let's see what happens with a bit of plastic primer. Fucking hell, no wonder nothing was happening, guys. See, don't smoke weed. Or don't smoke maybe too much or too little weed. Before you paint, because you might get confused, a lacquer, with the primer. So no wonder fuck all was happening. So quickly, <laughs> just before it dries, chuck some degrease on there. Degrease so works for everything, by the way. If you got sore ass, Use some degreaser on it. Fucking will help. Anyway, try again. Get some grey plastic primer. Shake it up.
let's see what happens now. Full primer it. You can still see all the shit that you need to scrub out. But at least they'll scrub out better. The surface won't be as hairy. How to describe it. Plus it will cover up all these little scuffs. So use quite a bit of it. Little trick dudes. We've got deep scuffs. Try and fill them with some primer. For example here, this one. Try and just build it up. Yeah. Now it's smaller. Let it dry. Do it again, just build up the layers. If it's not even, sand it down. Bro, I've put quite a fat coat on there. So we'll leave it to dry. With it build up a little bit more. If there are any more indentations in there. And then sand it down. Hopefully I'll get it nice and smooth. It's not looking bad. Okay, we waited for the um, primer to dry. Uh, obviously all this will be sanded down. Uh, ho hopefully this will be easier to sand down now. It will be harder surface. Now we're gonna play a little trick. I don't wanna go and buy a whole can of filler. Because I only need to do this. But basically I'm just trying to fill this with some super glue gel. All these scuffs, where are they? There, yeah, so try and fill this. Not when it dries, we will um, sand it down. Super glue for everything. Now don't just leave a blob of super glue. Oh, where is it? Filling a, uh, doing a filling in a tooth really at the dentist and then you're gonna sand it down all right we'll see the results tomorrow so make sure your lines are all filled in let it dry and sand it down oh yeah baby the side panels are cooking I'm gonna be nice and glossy, not all scratched up and grey like they were. <laughs> About an hour's drop, guys, even less. Make your ride look much better. Do it yourself. Yo, 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 boys and girls. Today we brought the E36 to get it wrapped, otherwise, it looks like a fucking aquarium. You sit in there like a fish, everyone looks at you while you're rolling your joints and shit. And smoking. And what happens if you got a woman in the back of it, mate? Then you're in oh, real trouble. Right. They see everything. There yeah. is the main man, Cash. Cash, when you're gonna be on our program, yeah. but you have to accept soon being the most uh, famous guy in the world in the car industry. I'd love to. Yeah. That's right. You have fucking queues here, oh. going all the way up there, parking <laughs> and all, all that car park I waiting the whole for building you. Building then, mate. Huh? I then I own the whole building. Exactly, mate. Exactly. This is the oh yeah, mate. Oh, a little bit too leery, I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a bit too much, mate. Yeah. Um, I'll have a little think. Maybe, maybe black, mate. Yeah. 
Right, this is the color we're gonna wrap that BMW in. <laughs> Why? I think it's nice. Man, this is fucking awesome, man. There's black windows. Yeah? Do it, mate. Fucking do it. It's my car, I'll do whatever the fuck I want. I... You can get me the material, man. You can get it cheaper. Yeah, okay. I'll look into it, man. Yeah. Find out how much it is, but it's um, excellent. Yeah. What's up, motherfuckers? Right now, we're going back back to the uh, Tintin Pro, as he's called, Cash. Fucking said to us uh, he'll do the windows, all of them, five of them, in about uh, three hours. I said, G, don't rush yourself. Because I know you think you're Superman, but you ain't a fucking Superman. So, uh, three days later, he's only done one window. So we're gonna go and check him out and ask him how the fuck he managed to do one window. But while we are on the way to uh, cash, I'll tell you one motherfucking thing. Do not be juice and buy shit diesel because it makes a fucking massive difference. You know, I didn't believe in it at first since I had the engine rebuilt, everything fucking new, loads of money spent, pour a normal diesel in, and uh, there was a drop as soon as you uh, hit the gas off the. Uh, off the start, there was a drop in kind of acceleration and it was jerky and uh, it was shit, uh, you know, and all this due to diesel. Because when you put on, uh, put in some good shit, more expensive one like, uh, what is it called, BP Ultimate or Shell, uh, it's just so, so much better guys. So yeah, don't be uh, tight ass motherfuckers on that because man, it makes a difference. Right, right now we're gonna go and check out that motherfucker and see what he's been up to. Not much by the looks of it, probably wanking his little todger. Anyway, we're gonna turn in there. Is he gonna let us pass? No, because he's a cunt. I uh, don't have a fucking clue. <laughs> yeah. Oh, where is he going? Right. This is why this is why you should put good diesel in, see? Fucking nice. Right. Cut this shit, Duke. We're we'll going check out that motherfucker. 